Hey guys, John Luxley here, back with a new blind playthrough. This is going to be a single serving, though, I think. This is Discover My Body by Yames, as recommended by uh, Jack O' Lantern. By the way, I do take recommendations. Sorry, I'm a little bit kind of off the screen there. Uh, I do take, rec yeah, take recommendations from you guys. This one is short. If they are short, like indie style games or just short games in general, I'm more likely to do them. I love recommendations. I just, the problem is I just have a backlog, like a really long one. So any recommendations you guys uh, do recommend, I try, I do try to get to, but I have other games that I want to get to first as well. So it's kind of like, let me know though, they go on the list. They do go on the list. So like I said, this is Discover My Body. Um, I've played Growing My Grandpa, which I paid for, recommend, great, uh, fairly cheap, five, 10 bucks. Um, I think it was like five bucks. On the channel, I got the first ending. There are multiple endings. There's a second one that is pretty easy to get, uh, which I didn't show. So if you're at all curious, I do recommend the game. Also, uh, Water Womb World is free, which I also did play for the channel. It takes about, well, it says 15 minutes, but since I kind of dilly-dally around and take my time and like to talk, uh, it took me about 30, 40 minutes. This, I don't know how long it's going to take, Less than an hour, presumably. Let us see. It's also really, really small. It looks kind of like a cell phone game. I don't think it's supposed to be one, but who knows. In the year 2040, human beings look for increasingly strange solutions in hopes of finding connection and community. That's not far off. Distrusting previous institutions that supposedly brought people together in common, lonely people look to technology and science for answers. Again. One such new technology is a powerfully, psychically powerful lab, uh, lab synthesized fun guy. New medical student at the local university have been brought in to study its application to a human host. Ah, you must be the new student Dr. Morrison was speaking of. So just to recap, because I was kind of flubbing my words and reading slowly and quickly at the same time. Uh... People are lonely and disillusioned and abandoning previous institutions in favor of new technology and this one university is studying uh, a, I don't think it said it was artificially grown, I don't think so, a psychically powerful fungi and its application potential in humans. Ah, you must be the new student Dr. Morrison was speaking of. Um, so I'm not a doctor. I'm a, just a student. Okay. I hear you're quite bright. Have you ever studied a psychical trans volatution flowering before? I don't know what that is. I see. Well, you're in for quite a treat. I have assisted with many flowerings before. That sounds... bad. It sounds... Am I... Like a guinea pig? However, this is my first time in the hot seat. This facility is equipped with a neuron or neutron coronal scanner. You'll be able to view my transformation. Oh, shit. So he's the one that's going to evolve. And it's various effects on my bodily systems. Just navigate the icon over my body and scan for info points to click on. My brain's Broca area has been linked to a digital readout, so even when I'm at the point where I'm beyond human speech, I will be able to communicate. Well, please begin your examination. So, I one thing I do love about Yames, um, so far, between Water Womb World and Growing My Grandpa, my favorite is Growing My Grandpa. Like, he does a... Um, it's kind of like Star Trek in a way, you know, start, well, let me rephrase. It is like Star Trek, the next generation where it is science fiction, not science fantasy. It is advanced technology that seems to have, it seems to be legit. Like they're actually trying to explain it. It's not just like, oh, it works because of magic. It's like, no, or this theory and that theory and blah, blah, blah. And that's what Yames seems to do it's a mix of like fantasy science plus magic it's almost like 
Ghostbusters, like the original movie, where they're they're studying, they're using the scientific method to study supernatural or potentially supernatural phenomenon. Um, you know, it's like it's as if magic was an actual phenomenon that you could actually study and control. And that's what this is, which is really neat. It's really fantastic. All right, well, please begin your examination. So we have this. Oh, I see. Wherever you click, it goes. So scan. I see. Topical, skeletal. Oh. Topical is in skin or outside. Skeletal, nervous system. All right, well, we'll back to... All right, fair enough. So this is... Hmm. Okay, so discover my body. Neat. So we're looking for stuff to click on. Well, that's his... Is that his heart? That doesn't make any sense. What is this? That's something we got to click on probably, but... The, um, if I was reading the about section, is there going to be an actual penis here? We'll see in a second. Um. Okay. A weird face down there, huh? Oh, there's one. Yeah, okay. It's like growing a head is growing. Can I click on that or no? Okay, there is another one. Okay, right. Um it was kind of like the description for this was kind of saying something along the lines of the human body is terrifying or biology or something like that and it's like yeah it can be if you really look into this stuff especially some of like if you watch man anything about like underwater like ocean ocean life like hell even barnacles it's like you're, you're talking all like all the parasites and everything else that lives on people or in people terrifying all right so let's click on this aha you've discovered the injection site Two weeks ago, Dr. Morrison took a bone-deep needle to my right shin. It hurt like hell. However, what he injected was worth its weight in gold. But why is there a face growing out of your shin? It was a skin graft of a successful PTB flowering. What's that? It kind of looks like a face? Well, the PTB organism is a psychical. Not psychic. That's a weird... A weird word. Psychical organism. Its physical manifestation draws from a shared pool of all its denizens, traumas, fears, dreams. I believe that's my mother's face on my shin. That's creepy as hell. Your traumas, fears, and dreams. Like more negative emotions? Oh, how I miss her. But enough about me. Please continue the examination. Okay, well. Aha, you've discovered my rotting bones. Oh yeah, he's missing his leg. Well, the face is like... Maybe consuming his bones. Yes, the rot has set in, certainly. It itches like the devil. But soft bones are required for the PTB to do its work. The human body was never intended to experience a flowering. In the process, one of its... One is contorted physic, or sorry, psychically and physically. Soft, rotting bones are pliable enough to assume a flowering shape. Yeah, that's pretty fucking scary. Again, though, very painful stuff. Yeah. When I begin to scream, I expect you to keep your cool, though. Well. This should all be academic to you. Are you getting any class credit for this, by the way? I see. Well, please continue. So I assume we're filling up the bar. It would make sense that uh, 
you know, kind of like, uh, I don't know if this came before or after, but it seems like in order to move on to the next stage, you have to do a couple of things. You have to achieve certain tasks. Um, but yeah, I imagine bones rotting is quite painful. We do stuff with, um, like diabetes every once in a while. And it's like, yeah, yeah, that stuff's painful to people. Aha, uh -huh. you've discovered the primordial inhibitor. This is device implanted in my brain stem. Okay, so that is his brain. I mean, it was his neck. Which helps to undo certain evolutionary safeguards against operations like this. Yeah, that seems bad. It limits bodily and mental reactivity to meta-existential stimuli. So this thing is causing you to cease existing? In not too many words, the flowering is an evolutionary aberration, one which requires some retooling of our formation of mental concepts. For instance, one who has flowered does not experience the human idea of time. Wouldn't necessarily call it a human idea, but... Okay. But if I tried and apprehended this with my regular old monkey mind, I would go quite insane. But anyway, please go on. Discover. Explore. Discover my body. Yeah. Aha, according to the concentration of the PTB in my blood, which is this, I guess? I will begin the flowering process very soon. Quick, give me your wallet to bite down on. Okay. Do you not have your own wallet? Wow, that hurt. What is this? What is, is this his outside? He's turning into a fish. Yeah, Yames does body horror, I think, as well. Water Womb World had something about that. Growing My Grandpa kind of had something like that. Sorry, I seem to have bit down too hard and broken a couple teeth. Well, rotting, yeah, rotting bones also. Give me a moment to spit them out. Now then, as you can see by my face, I'm midway through the flowering process. Hurrah! I can feel the inkling of a pan-psychic connection. And my body has experienced amazing and terrible growth. This kind of reminds me of, um, you know, in a weird way. What was it? Pit of Babel by It's the Mateo. Also great, free, another free game. Um... Something that's really fantastic about some of these indie games is the writing. Like, even though the games themselves are very simple, um, if you have good writing, that's, to me, that's just, like, fantastic. See for yourself. Uh, yeah. Oh, are we a, are we a fish now? Okay, that's topical. What is this? Can I like click up here and... Oh, I see. Wait, what the hell is this? Is this his leg? Like what, what the hell is going on? Uh, I guess so, yeah. Okay. So that's the, uh... That's the inhibitor? Wait, is his brain shrinking? Okay, well, there's something. Let's click on it first. Aha, uh -huh, you've discovered my new minds. To the extent that the brain is a mind, that is. So he's got multiple brains now. We'll leave that to the philosophers. As my own mind brain disintegrates into the group mind, what remains of my body becomes a small distribution of other flowering mind brains. 
As we speak, I am flooded with powerful memories that are not my own. I feel, well, it's hard to even use the word I anymore. Even to distinguish ourselves from our timeless unity seems wrong. I feel infinite pleasure as well as infinite pain. Is this what death is? Okay, so that was the nervous system. Okay. Aha! You've discovered my bone growths. Yup. As I was saying about the dramatic changes of PTB flowering incurs, well, now, at a bone deep level, my skeletal system is basically sponge cake. Okay, but look closer. My bone fragments have begun to reassemble into a complicated, if fragile, latticework of wafer-thin psychic receptors. Some of the bones are poking out of my skin. I knew that. I felt it. Haha. -ha. Please, go on. What are they turning into? Aha! You've discovered that my hands have fallen off. Well, I suppose I'll never play the violin again, haha. Joking aside, this is pretty much to be expected. Part of the primordial inhibitor is to disassociate brain and hand connectedness. As a result of this, the hands fall off, as they are merely vestigial baggage. Vestigial. Standing in the way of a superior evolution. I'm sorry, just briefly had a bit of ego death there for a moment. I could feel my thoughts intertwine in the rhizomatic group mind. Please continue. Aha! I see we are at the final stages. I complete the flowering. Infinite pleasure, pain, death. I am so happy. I am so happy. I am so happy. And apparently there's a sequel to this, Discover Our Bodies. It's currently in development, from what I understand. Um, I don't know if it's a sequel or a remake. Yeah, of course, I think, I think that said it was supposed to take five minutes, but of course I like to talk, so yeah, it's almost 20 minutes now. I'm okay with that, though. I'm all right. Um, there is definitely a body horror element, and I do... Games is a guy to follow, I think, in the future. That's, that's, that's one thing I do love about these recommendations... Uh, from you guys occasionally because i mean really it's i would have never heard of this had i even had i never had the channel i would have never heard of this guy um or this developer uh would have never played any of these yeah i mean definitely like i said i man i have a huge ass backlog if i had more time i would definitely do more but uh you know you know how it is work work takes up huge amounts of time and then one does what one can so uh that's it for today guys thank you guys so much for your time and attention really do appreciate it. hope you guys are enjoying these episodes questions comments concerns good bad or different leave a comment if you want i do read all of them assuming i'm told i do uh i do try and respond to all of them even though it's going to take a few days usually um if you like the video give it a like please and uh any weird recommendations like this let me have them seriously i'm i'm very curious what is your guys unique positive moment for today i don't know if this is going to be its own day or if i'll just shove this on to like a a different day or a same day as something else it was only 20 minutes so but if i had a unique positive moment it would be playing this because that was pretty neat i love the sort of yeah i don't know the writing the writing is fantastic uh but that's yeah so that's my new puzzle moment hopefully you guys just as good if not better yeah i think i said that correctly uh and i hope to see you guys next time till then guys take care